the Kepler spacecraft was launched on a mission to find new worlds around stars. By looking closely at the star, Kepler can see the dips in light as the exoplanet passes between us and the star. The shape of these light curves contains information about the exoplanet. Four years in, disaster strikes. The second of four reaction wheels which dear Kepler breaks. Kepler enters safe mode, falling into a deep slumber. But three months later. This telescope could be stabilized. Solar pressure utilized. Full potential realized. Well, it could be K2. We'll use the solar radiation, catch those photons, oh yeah! Keep talking, we'll keep talking! Balance out the pressure, keep it nice and stable, oh yeah! We'll get the funding, yeah, we'll get the funding! With new targets every run, we'll be having lots of fun! You know that it's legit, we'll be seeing that transit with K2! Go, go K2, we'll get you up and running now! Go K2, go, go K2! Go, go K2, you're finding Super Earth, so wow! Go K2, go, go K2! You are for real, no reaction wheel, you're K2! graduate student looks at the first incoming data from K2, dismayed at the poor quality. K2 wasn't completely balanced. Periodic thruster fires were necessary to maintain stability, which introduced small amounts of systematic jitter into the data. Something had to be done. <laughs>
With this pipeline complete, the systematics are removed, returning K2 to the glory of its predecessor, enabling K2 to continue the mission of Kepler, finding new planets around more stars. Kepler, the planet searching on enough for fight to be Hard overthrown, 40 billion strong There ain't never been a field clever as the field There ain't never been a field better than a field They call Exo Planet so